Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Dragon Quest XI today! Little Green, you're here still? Huh. Well, I guess, yeah, that'd be something you could still probably do, right? Maybe? I don't know. Anyways, so come back here. Yeah, there is an item shop down here. I wanted to double check this place before... Oh, I didn't want to actually fight him, but whatever. That's fine, we'll do that. They die easily. Oh, there's two of you. Oh, no. Whatever shall I do? <gasps> Giga Slash! I like it. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go check out that merchant. See if he sells anything new and approved. Could try hunting metal slimes here, but without metal slash... And the rest of the party, it's probably not that... I mean, there's a chance because of the Falcon Blades that I could be able to, like... Get a, a decent hit. Really? This? Really? Zombie Bane. No, you're one hand sworn. I have one of those. Weaker. We get heavy armor. Holy talisman. Holy diver. Should be an instantly killed, reduced by 10%. Ooh, 25% at 3. Is that might be good. Well, is my horse still here? My horse is still here. And I can't cut these, no. Um, there's the zombies over there, but to be quite honest, I have a feeling they're just going to be slightly stronger zombies and pose no threat whatsoever. But let's go ahead and kill one anyways, just in case there is a bestiary somewhere in this game. A ghoul appeared. So you're not a vicious thing? I didn't sleep at the, uh, the campsite. I felt I didn't really need to. Good... Good job. Um, so we're going to Cobblestone Falls, they said. And then we should be able to... Make it to the last bastion? Are you new? You look kind of old. No, you guys are... You guys are old, old. So old, this should kill you. Yeah. Yeah, you done died. 38 exp 34 gold? Really? Huh. I mean, I guess that's pretty good. About as much as some of the other creatures around here give me, but still. There's another Skull Grave on... Anything else? No. Alright. Oh, here we go down this way. So we could go to the Heliodor. Well, either way it leads to the Heliodor region. And do I need this? Can I even make it up there on the horse? Uh, the answer is no. I think I knew that from before. Thank you for the fresh water. Who would have imagined that you could just get a jug of fresh water out in the wilderness? With no need for a jug at all or anything. It just provides its own. Unless we have like a bag of holding of infinite jugs. To make this... I guess some sense to carry around something like that. Carry water in. Or other liquidy supplies, maybe. I still feel like I wouldn't carry around an infinite supply of the... Uh, of the last... Oh, it's cobblestone! Okay, that makes sense. Drakies. Yeah, I, won't, I don't think I would bring around an infinite supply of... Uh, Drakies, not Drakies. Infinite supplies of, like, frickin... Jugs. I turn back if I were you, this place is no one to do. Head south. What? You want me to head back into the monsters? Or are you saying that or do you think I'm actually coming from this direction? No, you're you're a weird man. Thank you for the rock bomb shot. There are new ish enemies around here. Go to the last bastion. Or cobblestone. It's cobblestone. Hey, Sandy! Girl, okay, get off the horse. Fine. We the horse lives here too. No, girl, what up? Oh, is Gemma here? Is she alive? R run faster. Come on, you can do it. Look, dog, I'm running laps on you now. See how leveled I am? 
compared to you? How fast and strong I am? If you had just come with me, you and Gemma could be this strong. Also could potentially be severely hurt after the whole World Tree incident, but still, you could be this strong. No, yeah, we're just... I, I could just run ahead, you're right. But where's the fun in that? See you later, Sandy. feel like you shouldn't be outside the town, though, right? Oh, is Mom here? So how long was I out? It's like a few months, right? Sandy, there you are. And where did you run off to, my I hey, Gemma, look up. <gasps> Hi, I'm alive. I'm surprised you're alive too, kind of. After, well, we heard such awful things. That I was a fish? You get used to it. <laughs> oh, Sandy. You're right, of course. This is the best news I could have hoped for. And here I am, blubbering like a baby. Well, happy tears. Welcome home. Thanks. You guys want to come with me? I need new party members. It's not quite the cobblestone we grew up in, is it? No. We've been through a lot. After you left, this terrible man named Jasper came. Oh, I know. I saw the place. I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He, he rounded us all up in the center of the village, and then he ordered his men to kill us. But we were lucky. Not everyone is as cruel as Jasper. No, another soldier came and told him to stop. He said there was no need to take our lives. But that didn't stop them burning the village to the ground and locking us all up in the castle. Okay. Still... That one good man made sure we came to no harm. Were all the other, like, you know, grunt soldiers under control too, or are they just assholes? Sorry, Sandy, you're right. He's just got home after a long journey. He doesn't want to hear me blathering on. Yes, I do. Come on. Let's go and see the one person who'll be even happier to see you than me. No, he's dead. Oh, you mean mom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a weapon shop. It is a little bit different, huh? That lower part, yeah. That lower part's like completely new. Well, it's not new, but it's like there was in stuff there before. Right? There was just emptiness. You made a new. Wait, what? We made a new chapel in the main part of the bed. Too dangerous to be ringing the bell to getting more prayers these days anyways, but I do miss it. Oh, okay, so there's just a... a statue here. Alright. Do you heal me? No. Well, any new treasures around or anything like that? Vases? Or this barrel? Uh, unless this... <laughs> Mini metal! Alright, dope. The treasure chest didn't refill. Did I just miss that earlier, or is that new? I'm gonna assume that's new. So one more, and we can get that prize from Metal Man. Though I guess we can't really zoom there just yet, so... Maybe that will become unlocked shortly, unless we're gonna have to travel all the way there again. I hope it's faster this time around. Um, in here. Beds. 
Nothing. All right. This is just the door. Am I just going home? I mean, home is where the heart is, but also it's completely wrecked. So I don't think this is where I need to be. That probably has to be in the complete southern area. But we want to just double check and make sure there's no shinies, there's no chests, there's no vases or barrels. Hopefully I can get a good viewpoint from here. I can look at the wall, sure. You guys are traveling, not traveling, training. Good men. There's Gemma down there. Oh. Oh, two of them. Yeah, Sage Elixir. I don't know what that does. Probably restores MP. So I should probably check. Well, this doesn't look like there's anything over there. I see that shiny over there. The, the plateau areas. I tell the these things. What are these things are? They don't look like they have anything on them over here. Oh, I see barrels over there though. How do I get there? Down and around? Down and around. How do I get there? I can't jump. Alright, well I guess I jump down then. We then No? Wait a minute. Oh, there. Oh, there's more barrels over here. All right. Oh, I need to use that uh, seed of skill, don't I? There are some barrels down there I missed. I know, I saw them. I saw them. Our greatest en enemy. The barrel. Thank you for the magic water. Kind of absurd how much magic water I have, but okay. Ooh, 200 coins. I mean, better than nothing, right? Uh, special medicine. Oh, Grandpa, special medicine. It'll make you feel right as rain. I thought I saw someone in here. Ooh. Well, are these old or new? Well, probably doesn't matter. Well, there's nothing in them either way. Let's go check out that weapon shop. See what they have there. It's like copper sword, copper dagger. We're done for, I tell you. That's the spirit. No hope. Look at that guy over there. Gee, why are you on the ground? Bastard sword. I like me a bastard sword in Dark Souls, but unfortunately... Night Cleaver. Oh, wait, this is a one-handed sword. But it only hits once. It's only one extra point of damage, and I guess two points after everything is said and done. Yeah, I'll go ahead and buy this. Am I really out of inventory space? How? You put it in my bag? Thank you. I guess we'll go into our bag now and clear out some stuff. Transfer to the bag. Thank you. I guess... Oh, it's a usable item. Alright, I might as well keep it then. can upgrade that a little bit later. So we have a little more defense. Thank you for the special medicine. Feel free to just put that in my bag. There's a chest there. Go up. Thank you. I mean, Bastard Swords might be good. It's like two extra points of damage. I could probably upgrade it and it'll be... Like... On the... Maybe not on the whole, but... Be decently better than the Falcon Blades, but then we're missing out on two additional attacks. We could use the Falcon ability to gain some skills. 
uh, not skills, but some additional attacks, but at the same time, uh, our auto attacks or normal attacks would be lacking a bit, I think. I think we need something like a bit more damaging when it comes to uh, damage output. Where did you go? You didn't go up here, right? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to go up here, though, just in case there's something up here. I wish I could climb. Oh, it's a Bloodborne ladder. That's right. I forgot about that. Such a long ladder. Like, we came up here earlier and looted here, I think. It's worth a shot? See if there's anything new? No, the only thing I found up here so far has been disappointment. The dark spawn! I know, I know, I shouldn't call you that. You're the luminary, please forgive me. I was convinced you were going to bring disaster to the world. We all were. But now I know different. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you should be. Ow. Surprised there is no fall, fall damage from that. That was a long way. You know. Oh, so you must be from the village originally, huh? Hey, Mom! I'm alive. What are you guys doing? Knitting? I gotta keep your hobbies Come up. On, girls, put your backs into it. The boys are out there doing the fighting, so it's up to us to keep the home fires burning. You can also just grab a weapon as well. Sorry to interrupt, Amber, but uh, I've got big news. Hello, Gemma, love. What's got you so excited, hmm? Well... You're not going to believe this, but there's someone very special here to see you. Hi. <gasps> My little soldier. I mean, I'm not really a soldier, but all right. I, I just can't believe it's you. After all the awful things that happened, I was sure you were... Sure you were... Did I tell you the story about oh. the time I was a fish? When the disaster struck, so many people lost their lives. The sun vanished, and those terrible monsters appeared all over the place. Now, I'm sure the sun's still there, obviously. The darkness is just blocking it, but it can't be blocking it completely, right? Given the whole, like... I think after a few months of no sun, given this is a fantasy world, but after a few months of, like, no real sun in the sky, like, a lot of these plants would be just dead. A lot of animals would probably also be dead because of the no plants. Not to mention it would be freezing. Even those of us who were lucky enough to survive were so drained and desperate that we almost lost the will to live. Yeah, that can happen. I know, like, I, I from what I've read, and obviously this is probably different from wherever you read it, like, the or Earth's core will keep the planet, and the atmosphere will keep the planet warm for a good amount of time, but eventually that, that warmth is going to just, just disappear, eventually. But, yeah, like, with no sun, it's going to be absolutely, like, 100 degrees below zero. And then the hero appeared just when we needed him. He did all he could to help people, no matter who they were or where they were from. Unless the darkness is acting like the atmosphere on Venus, where it's trapping what light gets through and keeping the planet warm. But if it was like Venus, we'd all be boiling to death, because that planet is extremely hot due to the atmosphere greenhouse effect. He fought off the monsters and brought everyone here to safety. Without him, I dread to think what would have become of us. You'd be dead? And now, thanks to him, the place you once knew as Cobblestone has become the last bastion. Humanity's safe haven in a world beset by darkness. This is like the only town left? Would you believe we've even got the King of Heliodor camped out here? Oh, no, actually, I thought he was dead. So, should I go finish the job? Look, I know he was the one who ordered the village to be burned. 
But I'm sure he had his reasons. Things aren't <laughs> always as they seem, love. Well, I mean, he was being possessed by, I guess, this world's ultimate evil. He may be the last person you want to see, but you should go and talk things through with the king. Your grandfather would have wanted you to at least try. Or we stab him. Just pop your head round the door of his tent, will you, love? For me, it's the one in the middle of the camp with the two flags. And be polite. I'll use my courteous stab. When I do a curtsy and stab you at the same time. All right. Uh, oh, we're all the way down here. Okay. Well, let's do a quick little roundabout and get this chest. Give me this chest. I want this chest. Are you just not going to give me that chest? Uh, is it the bank? That's rude. You give me a you place a chest in plain sight and don't allow me to get it. I've gone in the stores and taken their chest. Let's make yours any better. What is this? here before. Maybe. Hey, were you the girl from the cutscene? I mean, you're not dead yet, so you still have the ability to do stuff. Eventually. I'm sure I'll fix it. Maybe. I mean, there's a chance I won't. Where are we going to a camp with two? Where are we going? I mean, he ordered me pretty much in prison and killed, and then he came to kill all you guys. That's what happened. So, I know he's being possessed, so I understand, like, you know, shouldn't kill him just yet. But, at the same time, you seem awfully forgiven that someone that doesn't know the... Hi. How's it going? I am a handsome chap, aren't I? Who are you? But she doesn't seem like she's that interested in you, dog. Why are you still wearing the ears after the world's pretty much ended? Ah, oh, that's... that is sad. Yeah, name him, um... Baby. Yeah! You never mess it up now. You're gonna get really awkward when he grows older, though. There'll be more treasure here somewhere, right? What the hell? Oh, they're making you work. All right, I thought you were actually gonna be a good person. Be like, oh, now I'm working because I'm like, uh, you know, the world's ended. But you know, you're just kind of a jerk. You don't get a free ride when the world ends, or is, like, about to end. You do look weird wearing that outfit, though. So, what were they sewing back there? Patches? It looks like, kind of, maybe? They weren't sewing clothes. That's for sure. I mean, they might have been starting on clothes. Maybe blankets. For, like, the, the, the sleeping arrangements. Or patches for the tents. That makes sense, actually, now that I see the tents. I find the lack of treasures disturbing. Also, am I supposed to be going north or south? Maybe south. I don't see any flags. Oh, you think Dirk's here? You're the priest? No. Did I... What? Did I loot that before? I don't... How? There must have been... Maybe that... I don't know. That's weird. Maybe it's just always looted. Or it could be like a chest that's tied to another chest. That would be here to... You're not Sandy. You're an imposter. Would be here to give you the item that was in it? Maybe? I don't know. I can't miss it. Yet I've missed it. I'm an idiot. Okay, never mind. Look. 
I was looking for a dot on the map when I checked earlier, not words that said the royal tent. Sure, it should have stood out to me, because there are big words that says the royal tent. I was here earlier, wasn't I? Yeah. All right, hi, dog. Do you remember everything? So, you are alive and well, I see. Well, alive, yeah. Kind of emotionally distraught. You have nothing to fear. I have regained my senses at last. The living nightmare that began for me on the day of your birth has ended. That's a long time to be under possession. No, in truth, I remember little of what I did. I have inflicted so much pain on so many. Gee, so you just lost 16 you. years of your life? That's... That's pretty awful, to be honest. I do not ask for forgiveness. I do not deserve it. All I ask is that I be allowed to atone. To pay for my crimes by protecting those who remain. Tell me, do you recall what happened on that fateful day? The events that came to pass beneath Yggdrasil's branches? Uh, let's see. Uh, Jasper attacked us. We couldn't damage him. Uh, then Hendrik showed up with you. Then you shot Hendrik. And then you were unpossessed. And then he took that lovely sword and made it into this ugly eye thing and stabbed the heart of Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil. I see. I recall nothing. All I know is that whomever or whatever had me in its grasp for all those years left me there. Yeah, and it looked like it hurt. And when at long last I returned to my senses, I was here. There is something else I must ask you. Tell me. Do you know if my daughter is alive? I mean, I think so. I see. Because, like, Queen Queenie Pops back there, she said that uh, I have to go find my old friends. So maybe she's alive. The hero has returned. He brings more survivors seeking sanctuary. Come. You must meet he to whom we owe our survival. Though you may not wish to at first. I mean... Dog, the purple hair and, like, the side goatee kind of gave it away. Is this supposed to be, like, a secret? I mean, I guess there's a chance that it's not Hendrik. I'll be very surprised. I'll actually be more surprised if it's not Hendrik. Are we going this way? Everyone's looking this way, so I'm assuming that's a yes. Yeah, no, it's him. I miss your black armor, though. It was badass. Hmm. Luminary lives. Yeah. Welcome back, Hendrik. Well, what news? You're a tall man. I don't think I noticed how tall you were before, Hendrik. Actually, King, you're a tall man, too. The mass at the gates of Heliodor. They will strike, and soon. Sire, the people must be removed to safety. To where? Men! All the signs are that our enemy will strike tonight. To arms! They shall not find us unprepared! As you see, he is as eloquent as ever. But you must forgive him. Are you, are you... Is that... Are you being funny? I think you're being funny right now. He has fought harder than any of us. He has sacrificed more than anyone. 
which is why his burden must be lightened. It is time that your differences were set aside, Luminary. Mankind needs you. Hendrik needs you. Will you stand beside him? Oh, absolutely not. I can well understand the ill will you feel. But there is no other save yourself. It is time that your diff Fine. <laughs> if we are able to withstand the assault tonight, we may yet survive. Join the troops outside the fortress when you are ready. All right. Hello? Yeah, I probably should go save. And, you know, because that's like the uh, end of the episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below if you're not subscribed yet. On the end of my video section, check out some other content and see if it's to your liking. If you're interested in watching me live stream, head on over to twitch.tv slash Give it a follow and be notified when I go live. Either way, thank you for watching. We all have a great day.